Thank you very much. A battle now brewing over the release of a hit and run suspect who federal authorities say is in this country illegally. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Marion County now pointing fingers at each other for the mistake. 24 News 8's Julie Dang has all the details. This is largely just a war of words right now. A lot of finger pointing, but no legal action. In a new statement from the Marion County Sheriff's Office, they call out ICE officials for, quote, failing to do their job and blaming local government. This started last week when a woman named Juana Naomi Loa was charged in a hit and run. When she was booked into jail here in Marion County, ICE put an immigration detainer on her. But Marion County authorities let her go on a cash bond. ICE was not happy. They issued a scathing statement accusing the county of ignoring their orders and endangering the public. We talked to an immigration attorney who's not involved. Here's her take on I it. I think it's really strong for ICE to say that they brazenly ignored the detainer. Those detainers are just requests. It's not something they have to do. Marion County maintains what they did was backed up by both Indiana law and a federal court ruling. In a statement, they say ICE was given four hours notice to take custody of Loa. They failed to act in accord with the law by failing to pick her up in a timely manner. I would be communicating with ICE to have ICE pull the detainer. And it may all be a communication issue, but neither side is backing down. It's unclear if either Marion County or ICE can take legal action here. Back to you. Julia, thank you.